I love that scene uh, because everybody will always remember the farting uncle from Fanny and Alexander. And to me, it's, it's become a symbol of what I find most important in filmmaking. It's become a symbol of the finest art of filmmaking in the sense of when you create a, a, a character or a situation that stays with people, that people will always remember, refer to, then I guess you've created a slice of life. Uh, you've created a living soul that is amongst us. And uh, for some reason, that very silly scene has, has become a symbol of that in, in, in my life. I do like other stuff in the movie as well, I have to say. <laughs> I find the whole orangeness and warmth of that house combined with the dark evil underneath, extremely powerful and attractive and uh, rich. <laughs> a family is always a very ritualized organism. We do stuff like sitting around tables or dancing around Christmas trees. So there's always a lot of life to be told through those rituals. Families also implies past. You can always feel the past. You can always sense the film before the film when you witness a family. The family is the only institution in your life that you don't pick yourself. You're born into a situation. It implies faith, claustrophobic feelings, and yet maybe the strongest sense of love that you'll ever, you'll ever experience. The family is the epicenter of the most important emotional uh, outlets of your life. I somehow always try to create um, purity of a kind. Um, I always try to, to make my films as naive as possible. And I guess maybe it helps me to see my stories through the eyes of a child. It pulls me away from mannerisms and vanity and effects and gives a more sort of straight, honest vision of, of the story and the world. Well, you can say that some of the characters, some of the grown-up characters that I sort of d devote myself to in, in the writing are often very childlike. <laughs> they, they are somehow quite unreflected, like the farting un uncle is in that scene, at least. And they're driven by their emotional life, they're devoted to their emotional life, and um, they're irrational. Irrationality is extremely important. We're all irrational human beings, but on film it's, 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 it's almost a tool. You, you have to make people react irrationally, because that's how, that's the entrance to their honesty and to their emotional life. But being part of the Bergman family would be a very great honor. Uh, he is indeed, and has always been, um, a huge inspiration for me. Um, I had the privilege of having a long conversation with him at, at some point, um, where he gave me some really good advice that I've been following since. And yeah, he's, he's, he's meant a great deal to me. Oh, well, there's a lot of stuff I've stolen from Bergman. <laughs> or at least, well, there's one scene in particular in Feston where they dance around the house. They do exactly the same in Fanny and Alexander. We talked about that and uh, he laughed and, and claimed that he stole it from the leopard himself. So it's, it's all done in admiration. 